Officers suspect he may not be here as a genuine tourist. There were some concerns regarding his visa application, so we decided to um, take him into the interview room and ask him a few questions about his travel to Australia. Tell me, uh, Mr Yen, why have you come to Australia today? Because my son, he asked me to go out for holiday with him. And in Australia, have a great environment. It's not too cold, not too hot. Yep. So, what do you plan to see while you're here in Australia? I stay in a hotel. Do you plan to go anywhere? No, 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 no. Because to go anywhere is not safe. Staying in a hotel will be safer. Staying in the hotel will be safer. So then, why would you come to Australia if you're just going to stay in the hotel? We only stay in the hotel at night. We go out to study. Sorry, interpreter, I just want to clarify. Is he saying we as in plural, like he's traveling with other people? Yeah, he keeps saying we. Okay, so are you traveling with anyone? No. No. Man's story is less than convincing. So, Officer Alex suspends the interview to consult his supervisor. Sorry, Anthony, just New evidence suggests the man's reference to we may be something more than just a slip of the tongue, as Border Force are right now interviewing a second man whose travel plans are suspiciously similar. I think the sim similarities between the cases, they're claiming that they're travelling alone, but they've got the same travel itinerary mm -hmm. and they checked in 10 minutes apart. Who is we? Well, I'm sure we see well. <laughs> we? I mean, myself. That's like a customary way to say it. No, I, I, that's not a normal way that somebody would speak. Why would you refer to yourself in plural? Why would that woman lie? We are using that in our country. I speak to Chinese people on a daily basis and no one refers to themselves in plural. Is anybody waiting for you in Australia? No. No. So what I want to know, okay, is who are you travelling with? I return on the 29th. Mm. Yeah, I return on the 29th. Yeah, I return on the 29th. The man now completely avoids the question, so Officer Alex tries a different line of inquiry. Have you travelled to any other countries before? Yes, Dubai. And what did you do in uh, Dubai? I went there for holiday to look around and to see what type of business we could do. What type of business would you be involved in? Crystals. Crystals? Yes. I want him to explain to me in detail what the business was that he was doing there. We had a very small factory. Okay, so in, in what capacity were you involved with the factory? Despite the specific questioning, the man provides only vague details. So I'm very confused now. You haven't given me any specifics. So once again, Officer Alex consults his supervisor. It was like pulling teeth. It was like asking him the questions and he'll only give me one word answers and then I had to ask more questions just to get those details out. And now, new information reveals that the man may have been lying when he said he didn't know anyone here in Australia. He claims that he doesn't know anyone here, nor is he coming to, to see anyone here. Uh, we already have information that suggests that he is going to see someone here, as his telephone has been ringing off the hook while we've been in interview. There has been an Australian telephone number that has been contacting him, so we hope to actually put this information to him to see what he will say about that. Uh, your mobile phone, you claim that you don't know anybody in Australia. However, there's been an Australian telephone number that has been contacting you the entire time we've been here in interview. Can you explain that? I had an old auntie. Yeah, but I don't know where she lives. That still doesn't explain why you advise me that you don't know anybody here and yet someone is calling your phone. The man's answers okay, continue so, uh, to not I'm add not up. Going to continue so anymore officers with now check you where he plans to stay anyway. while in Australia on his so-called holiday. We found the hotel accommodation booking in your suitcase for two nights. Um, what are you going to do for the rest of your time here? We are afraid to stay in a small hotel. So he's still referring to himself in plural, isn't he? Oh, yes. He did say me. Yeah. Okay, so according to the information that you provided me, you don't have any planned activities for your time here in Australia. 
You are, yeah, you are, you are. Yeah, you are unable to provide any. Yes, we have. Yeah, so what is what is your plan? Today we go to one jewelry shop to have a look. The next day we go to another jewelry shop to have a look. Okay. Um, do you plan to see anything else while you're here other than jewelry shops? We can go and have a look at something else. So tell me something unique about Australia that you wish to see here. We like to see um, the beautiful uh, scenery and at the same time look at the business. Okay. The passenger continues to frustrate Officer Alex by failing to provide a coherent answer to any questions and leaves him no choice other than to suspend the interview. No more questions. I'm just going to advise you. Um, you have no planned activities in Australia. You can't provide any detail about Australia whatsoever. Your claim that you're staying here until the 29th, however, you only have accommodation for two nights. So just let him know that I don't believe anything that he's told me today. None of what he said pans out, nor does it make any sense. I believe there is sufficient grounds to show that you are not a genuine tourist here. So we've got no accommodation, doesn't know where he's staying, no planned tourism activities, and he's got an Australian phone number calling him even though he claimed initially he claimed he didn't know anybody and then changed his story after you confronted him That's with that correct. information. The passenger is now given a final chance to prove to officers that he is really here for a holiday. What is your response to the intention to consider cancellation of your visa? <laughs> This is not illegal. I'm here for trouble. I haven't done anything illegal as long as I have leave. The man fails to provide any new information about his travel plans, so Officer Alex makes his final decision. After weighing up all of the information available to me, I was satisfied that grounds for cancelling your visa outweigh the reasons for not cancelling your visa. The decision was made to cancel your visa to... Hang on, hang on, let me finish talking. As a result, your visa was cancelled today at 11.20 hours. This Chinese national meets the perfect profile for somebody who would be coming here to work. It was not a genuine tourist and the decision was um, a lawful one.